One in eight voters think that the St George's Cross is racist and should not be displayed. The study, revealed a day before St George's Day, shows widespread support for the flag, but reveals that Labour voters are 13 times more likely to criticise it than Tories. It's another headache for Labour leader Sir Keir Starmer, who has been taking up his patriotic, talking up his patriotic credentials. Joining us now is uh, Conservative Home is the journalist from Conservative Home, Harry Phibbs. How are you, Harry? Hello, I'm all right. Yeah, all good at this end. Listen, um, I mean, this subject sort of comes around from time to time, doesn't it? Somebody thinks the St George's flag is racist. Um, I, I don't know whether... I've always been intrigued when we discuss this, whether any other country anywhere in the world has a debate about whether their flag is racist. Do you think it's just peculiar to the English flag and nowhere else? Oh, I think so, the, the, the woke stuff has taken off in the uh, United States quite a bit. There's quite a lot of um, unpatriotic um, sentiment among uh, lefties in America. But I, I think broadly you're right. And the, and the irony is that uh, Britain is probably the least um, racist country in the world. And in terms of our history, of course, we should be very proud. The uh, efforts the, the, from the Royal Navy to... Um, uh, abolish the slave trade. Uh, I mean, there's so much that we should be uh, proud of in, in championing the cause of freedom and, and, and democracy. And it's it's a shame that mm. um, that 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 it's uh, denigrated. I don't know whether it, you need a you need a psychiatrist or a psychologist or whatever. There's this sort of self-loathing. Uh, of, of people in this country when we've got so much we should be proud of. It's, yeah, it's a it is a you, you're spot, it is a sort of self-flagellating thing, isn't it, that uh, for some reason uh, patriotism is... And obviously there are such a thing as extremists and racists. We get that, and they may well display their country's flag wherever that happens to be. Uh, but just by dint of its existence, the idea that it's racist is, is bonkers. But I, I, I think there are, as you rightly say, that... that there is a group of people, they might be small, but they are perfectly formed, that can't get beyond that, that anything that involves waving a flag or singing the national anthem somehow feeds into this sort of nefarious idea that you're kind of one step away from the gene pool from Eugene Terre Blanche. I mean, this is nonsense, right? It is, and, and you're mentioning Keir Starmer. It's obviously it's a particular difficulty for him is that you... The idea of, of wanting to win a general election, to become prime minister of this country and to be unpatriotic, I mean, it's almost a contradiction in terms. On the other hand, you know, he's got his his core supporters, a lot of whom are woke. I mean, we had these um, figures and, and how many people think that it's somehow racist to, to, to fly the flag. I mean, among Labour Party supporters, it, it's higher. Labour Party members, it's even higher. The sort of people that uh, Keir Starmer would, would have in his, in his constituency in... Uh, in, in North London, in a way, he's been quite he's been quite brave to be patriotic. I mean, after all, he's got um, Emily Thornberry in the shadow cabinet now. I mean, even Ed Miliband um, sacked her because she started sneering at, at, at people for flying the flag. If you if you remember all those all those Rochester, years ago, Rochester wasn't it, so, Harry? Yeah. So I mean, so there's a big uh, yeah. He's got he's he he he's got a, he's got a contradiction that he's got to face up to, of trying to reconcile two irreconcilable forces, really. The, all, all, all the woke uh, mm. uh, people who are ashamed of our country and, and all, the, all the people, including many traditional working-class Labour supporters, uh, who are absolutely staunchly patriotic. And, and so, of course, he's, he's going to have... Um, he's he's going to get into a, a, a pickle over it. Yeah, and I, I do sense that the left, and particularly the sort of middle-class left, the Thornburyites and the Keir Starmers, whatever Keir says now, um, I would imagine he was probably Team Thornbury back in the day when she was slagging off some poor bloke because he happened to stick a St George's flag outside his house to celebrate the football. Yes, and of course Keir Starmer was very anti-Brexit. I mean, not it was one thing to be to vote remain in the referendum, but he was one of the people who then said, no, no, we don't accept the result, we want a second referendum, really resisting it strongly. And, of course, the last general election was... There were lots of people in the Labour Party who refused to serve under Jeremy Corbyn. Keir Starmer wasn't among them. He was there in the shadow cabinet saying, yes, we need Jeremy Corbyn in as, in as Prime Minister. So for Keir Starmer now to say that he's, he, he's this great patriot who wants us to be a proud, independent country and proud of our history, there's... Um, 
some of us might feel a bit of a credibility gap. Indeed. Um, listen, always good to get your take, Harry. Thank you, Harry Phipps, journalist from Conservative Home, with us here on Talk TV. There will always be that contingent out there that just can't get their head around. There's something... Uh, it's, it's a wider argument, actually, than just a flag, and I'm fascinated by this. It is the flag, it is the anthem, it is the idea of our history. Um, even the stuff that is good somehow is only good because of somebody else or because we rob something or nick some marbles or you know, put a painting up that didn't really belong to... There's all of this. It's just a self-flagellating hatred of your own land. It, in, in a way, it, it sort of reinforces your reason for being a lefty. You can only be a lefty. And I'm talking about a mad lefty here, not the democratic right to happen to be a, a left-winger who votes Labour, uh, but the really bonkers kind of zealot-like nut jobs that are out there, and there are loads of them, that lot, who they feed... This is what gets them out of bed in the morning. You have to have a sense that there is an in agenda of iniquity out there. There's an injustice, and it's perpetual. It never stops. And that injustice is what keeps them going. It fans the flames of their mad psychology. That's how they work. That's how they operate. That's why they believe what they believe. And you will never talk them off that particular ledge. So hating the St George's flag, frankly, is the least of the problems. They've got a whole CV of dodginess going on, and that is just one of them.